Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland and today I am here just to show you how to put together card number two in our January 2024 pardon me video, no, card in the post glass in the post, oh my goodness Dearie me, I'm giving myself a bit of a hard time here. Right, so what do we have? This card is a bit more complicated than the previous card. So this is a landscape style card and we've got half a, half a flap on the front. We're going to use one of the perennial postage pieces for the front as our flap. So we'll go like that and I've written what size 11.7 by 8.5 um, is this piece of designer series paper to layer onto it and that's going to go like that on the front but before we do that we can either have that side of the paper or that side I like the lavenders As again, you can choose which card you cut up. The measurements will be there for your whole card. There you go. And that, yeah, that's seven, seven point five. I think that piece is my brains. Did all my measuring and cutting yesterday. Seven point four there, and yeah, so that will go on there, and then this goes on to there, and then we have this bit. And I have embossed this piece for you. Another stamp, so it gets like so. You can stamp with this die piece, or you can emboss with it. It's in. You might kind of miss it as well it is um no it's not it's with the postage stamp dies i'm not quite sure where i've laid them up somewhere here i had them already because i showed you them in the first video and i've only just yes this die doesn't cut anything out you can emboss with it and on one of the other cards we, you could stamp with it as well I will keep that handy there put that properly in the bag to make sure I don't lose it because it's small but on this one I've embossed it so when you ink this up you'll see it more so let's just let's do some sticking so as I said the panel for inside this layer is 11.7 by 8.5. I love this gingham on the back as well. It's like an oatmeal colour, isn't it? It makes you think of oats. <laughs> or does me? I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit nuts, I don't know. that bit well and I did stamp on this but I think I said, on this one I stamped foliage you could write your message on here you could put another piece of card on the back there it's it's entirely up to you what you do with your card this time I think I'll just stamp a bit with the gorgeous grape and some of the florals but I'll just stick this DSP down first Isn't it pretty? I don't know which paper I prefer uh, is my bet favourite. They're just the whole pack is just beautiful. What's that? As I say, we could stick 
this down as well. So I'm going to just put some glue on part this this side. And position that so it's kind of I could maybe just come a bit further that way. There we go. You've got all your lines, so just once you're happy that it's as straight as you want it to be. There you go. And let's give this a bit of, and we need a sentiment on here, so let's do a bit of stamping. So where is the stamp set? I haven't got it out, that's why I was like, where is it? Where is it? It's still filed away. Right. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'll we'll just use this sort of fanned out lavender and just give it a bit of an edge. I didn't leave much room for sentiment in the last one. making sure that's synced up properly. It's like a big hand this one. As much stamping or as little stamping as you want. So say the more you stamp, the less you have to write. <laughs> That's not always the best attitude. So you'll know who you intend your card for. So obviously you can stamp accordingly. And I think I'll just again get my wee cloth out. Right that way. Just make sure I've got it all. There we go, and we're good to go. And then we just need to stamp this a bit. So our sentiment, what will we have this time? What else fits on here? Again, you can go to any stamp set you've got. <sighs> you mean the world to me. I can't thank you enough. So the lavender, the painted lavender set is photopolymer and the sentiment is red rubber. So we'll just... I can't thank you enough. There we go. And if you want to highlight... You can't, it's quite hard for you to see probably on the camera, but if you want to highlight the embossing, use a sponge or a finger dauber or your blending brush. Or indeed the brayer would work here too, if you have that. And once you just add a bit of ink here, you can see that much more clearly. And using the black, the black mat, the glass mat, makes this kind of ink blending much smoother. There you go. Again, just a wee quick wipe. We're done, so we're not constantly using lots of bits of paper now. I'm going to close this because, well, you know why, because I'll end up covered. You've seen it before. Right, and then we'll just stick this in. So say just whatever you fancy, however you want to decorate it. I mean, I've done, overdone it.
The card base that I'm using is Blackberry Bliss and I could have stamped with Blackberry Bliss too. I just chose, I think all the purples in our colour range work fine together. There we go and then we're just going to attach that. And I did tie a little bow before I came on and I've no idea where it is now. How ridiculous is that? I just tied it before I came on to film this. <laughs> Can you see it anyway? <laughs> A nightmare I am. Here it is. <laughs> right, so this will go on with dimensionals, which again I had out. Yeah. See, one video and I've wrecked the place. So again, if I fold this back, which is the front, which is the, where's the, that's the back, put the ribbon on the glue dot, press it down, pull it up and it glue dots there, and on this card that's what I did, I just popped it on the corner of my wee frank stamp, and then... So again, on the original card I've used a mixture of large gems and small ones but I've only got the small ones left here so I'm sure they'll work just as good. three but you, you can put whatever you want and that's card number two very effective a slightly different fold and lovely use of these beautiful papers and ribbons so thank you very much and i'll see you on card number three